For the first time ever, the world will hear Derek's piece, but for the 19 millionth time, people will hear Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. So what is the thread between these two things? Uh, Derek will explain uh, his concept of looping, but there's a very handy connection between what Beethoven what, uh, wrote and, and what Derek wrote. Uh, so in, in music, there's nothing new. That there's, everything is borrowed, everything is from somewhere else, and I mean no disrespect to Derek nor to Ludwig when, when I say so, um, but there's a limited number of notes. Uh, in general, the meters and ideas that people use have been used countless times already by any point in music history. Extending that idea is the idea of looping, which is very self-referential, referring back to itself, reinvestigating itself, repeating itself type of idea. And that ties in perfectly to one of Beethoven's greatest innovations. But Beethoven had an obsessive quality, amongst many other qualities. But one, one, of, his, one of the extraordinary things about Beethoven was taking a simple form that you could describe as an A, B, A. So in old times, a minuet, a trio, a return, an exact return of the minuet. And sometimes there are sort of A, B, A structures within each of those sections. He decided, no, 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 no. We're going to do A, B, A, B. Uh, a, B, A, and, and another B, A. So, so just another spin through of, of, of that cycling. So th that was a huge innovation for, for Beethoven. The, the, the other great thing about Beethoven and what he did was he permitted himself to use obsessive rhythms. So in the Ninth Symphony, there's some incredibly famous ones. If, if anybody remembers the, the demonic skirts of the Ninth Symphony, dump it bump it bump this sort of galloping rhythm that literally is there the whole time, every single measure of the A section in his doubly repeating A, B, A, B, A form. Another great example is the opening of the Fifth Symphony, da, 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 dum, which then, you know, it's a big, 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 big chunky seed that becomes the, the, the just just germinates, you know, again, da, 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 just a kind of layering of that idea on top of one another. So that was Beethoven's view of looping. Thank you. Um, you never know where a good idea is going to come from. And uh, have you ever noticed that when um, ideas don't always come at convenient times? <laughs> they don't, right? <laughs> But um, I was walking into the Brattleboro Club one day and a friend who is a member of the Wyndham Orchestra said, oh, you know, I really, um, you should write a piece for the Wyndham Orchestra and uh, you should use the orchestra as a looper. And I thought, what a great idea, <laughs> what a cool idea. Now, a looper, this is a looper right here, um, a little pedal, right? And what it does is it takes phrases that I play on the violin and repeats them. So I use it when I perform solo sometimes just to create a whole huge complex sound uh, with you know, a lot of different parts. It's like instant composition. It's a way to improvise and create more out of just one person. So, um, so I thought that was great. And then Hugh asked me to write this piece and you know, suddenly we had an idea and he, then he said, oh, well, put an impulse ensemble in it too. And I'm like, whoa, impulse ensemble, that's great. So um, it's a trio that I have that um, with Tony Vaca on balafon and percussion, Jim Matus on electric Greek lute, and myself on violin. And we work with a lot of improvisation. So our styles are kind of African, Middle Eastern, funk, oh, jazz, a bunch of different things. So now we have to, now I had to bring that element into the piece as well. This is my first piece for, um, for a full orchestra. So it was really, the whole thing was really large. Now I see I'm running out of time and I want to play the violin for you. So I'm going to shut up and play. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.